Hi, I'm Gary Ewer. Not all chord progressions are created equal. Some work really well in one section of your song, but won't work so well in a different section. In this video, I'm going to explore why that is and how you can make better choices for your song. Now, there are many ways that you can categorize chord progressions, but I find that one particular way works really well with popular songs, and that's thinking of them as being either strong progressions or fragile progressions. So, let's take a look at what those are. A strong progression is one that clearly points to one chord as being the tonic chord or the key chord. So if you take a progression like C, F, D minor, G7, C, now you play through that a few times and you start to hear that the C chord sounds like the tonic. It sounds like the progression is moving toward that C chord. And every time C happens, you really get that sense that you've arrived at home. That's what a strong progression is. A fragile progression is one that doesn't do that. It's a little more ambiguous with the key center. There is no one particular chord that seems like it's, like it's taking precedence as being a tonic chord. Now, fragile progressions, uh, we use that term, it's not supposed to mean that it's ugly or undesirable in any sense of, the, of that word at all. Fragile simply means that it doesn't have that strong sense of key, uh, the unambiguous tonic chord. So we have these two categories of chords. Now, where do we use them in our songs? Well, strong progressions can go pretty much anywhere, in a verse, in a chorus, anywhere. Now, fragile progressions, on the other hand, are going to work better in a song's verse or in its bridge. And that's because it does have this kind of ambiguous nature and it can par partner really well with song lyrics from the verse or the bridge. Now, what's interesting is that most chord progressions are actually a mixture of being strong and fragile. So now let's take a look at a few examples of chord progressions and you'll see the basic differences between strong and fragile. These strong ones really point to the last chord as being the tonic, being that all-important anchor. And now you'll see with the fragile progressions, they're more colorful, they're more imaginative. And you can see that you can pick up a, a really strong sense of mood and for that reason they work nicely with the verse because typically a song's verse will describe things and will tell you a story so the guidelines here are very simple you want to use strong progressions in your chorus because they work really nicely with a song's hook and you'll want to use more fragile progressions in a verse or in a bridge because they partner really well with a story type of lyric now, if you like this video and you'd like to be notified when more are released, simply subscribe to the channel. And you can also follow me on Twitter, at Gary Ewer. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.